The following is a public service announcement from the Ravens Flock. Hello, nerds watching all over the internet. This is Jose Casabona of the Ravens Flock. I hope you guys had an awesome week. And I hope you guys had a wonderful time. For those who attended MetroCon 2023, it was great seeing all of you. And I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. I hope you guys have cre uh, created some uh, uh, timeless memories at the convention and you enjoyed all the shows. Now, something for you to understand here in this channel we do our absolute best to hold ourselves to a high standard in public places especially anime conventions because that's where we got our started however it doesn't seem like everyone got the message um just earlier today i actually came across some footage from uh, an individual by the name of fred Beyer. now i'm not going to dignify i'm not going to dignify him and call him an influencer or a content creator or social media personality i'm not going to dignify him with those titles okay this guy is an attention whore in every sense of the word because i looked at his content and a lot of his videos is they're basically stupid nonsensical antics that you normally see on jackass which is infuriating to me because i was a fan of jackass i watched jackass uh, during the early 2000s i watched that uh, and viva la bam growing up and I, because i was a fan of that brand of humor however that brand of humor now belongs in the past and shouldn't be shouldn't be carried out in the present day because it sets a bad precedent. It tells us that you can get away with all the stupid shit and you can get away with trying to get yourself in trouble, but you don't have to worry about suffering the consequences. You don't have to worry about repercussions at all. So this guy, Fred Beyer, he went around the entire convention throughout the entire day. He was stopping every attendee, every cosplayer, every artist, every vendor, and asking uncomfortable questions, doing, uh, doing his silly, stupid antics, um, taking photos and videos without their permission, without their consent. And he was doing that throughout the entire day while recording it for his, for his content, for his, for, his, for his material. And then security stopped him. And when they told him to leave, he w behaved like an immature child. He was yelling, he was swearing, he was threatening to run away, which of course he did. He eventually did run away. He tried to run away from security before he was stopped, not just by security, by, by also local authorities. They were called in to have him escorted out of the building after he refused to do so. And when he was escorted out, when the police tried to get his name, Fred just gave him a fake name and the police just let him go. They just let him go and he's still making money off his YouTube. That piece of shit is still making money doing these senseless acts. This guy should not be anywhere near a convention if that's what he's going to do. If he could cause that much of a ruckus in a single day... For a convention weekend then i don't even want to think about what he's capable of doing if he has access for a full weekend so where am i going with this it's sad it's sad. it's very sad and it's unfortunate that i have to speak on this because we still have people in our community that are acting like jackasses that are ruining the fun and just creating a not so a, a not so safe atmosphere for all the attendees that, it, that, that are going to these nerd conventions. So no, Fred Beyer, this attention whore, should be nowhere anywhere near any Florida convention. Not Metrocon, not Holiday Matsuri, nowhere near any Florida conventions until he decides to grow up, stop what he's doing, and find another passion. And if he can't find another passion, well, you know what? That's his fault. That's his fault for not getting with the times, for not educating himself. And honestly, and I'm trying my best to compose myself here, and I don't normally get mad, but boy, this guy really, really pissed me off. And I hope I never have to see him in public. That being said, um, I do want to, I do want to give a shout out to the security and staff of Metricon. I think the way they handled it, they handled it really well, 100%. Great job on their end, and and. It, and for everyone else that that was affected by Fred Beyer, I hope you guys are I hope you guys are okay. And no one should ever have to go through what, what they went through. 
and and like I said, he needs to he needs to be away from Florida Cons. Period. So that's going to do it for me. And I hope you guys are. I hope you guys uh, 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 enjoy a wonderful weekend. I'm Jose Caspone of the Ravens Flock, and I hope to see you this Saturday.